Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I just want to take this time to take a video of my girlfriend's seven gallon freshwater planted community tank. I just finished up doing some pruning on the plants, so I figured now would be a good time to take a video. In here we have three neon tetra, two rummy nose tetra, one honey grommy, three otosynclus catfish, and there are currently assassin snails breeding as they get food from the mystery snail infestation. Um, not really infestation, but there were some mystery snails that we got on the plants. Uh, there's probably about a hundred assassin snails in there now that have been bred. We feed them calcium from the Hikari Crab Delight so they are able to continue to grow their skeleton. And uh, now her tank has actually populated several other tanks with assassin snails. So it's uh, kind of a nice thing. You can see here to the left some of the products that we use for this tank. Obviously it's kind of overkill for a seven gallon, but um, it does work quite nice. The XL acts as a carbon dioxide source in the water. Uh, we do use reverse osmosis and deionized water in here. We use the Aquavitro brand to resupply the carbonate buffer for alkalinity, and we supply a very low general hardness, about, uh, about I would say, one to two dKH. And uh, you can see there we have the nitrogen and the phosphorus that is also a potassium source. For the plants, you also note that uh, the aquavitro carbonate also will increase potassium as well as the carbonate hardness. So uh, it's a pretty nice uh, product line. Uh, I personally use it in my 60 gallon tank at home. Uh, it works, works pretty well for me. Uh, there's some other products we use for this tank, uh, such as Seachem Trace Elements. Um, it's nice. Sometimes we will use a tap water to do a water change, which we will use prime. The only reason we use tap sometimes is because actually this source water does have a very low alkalinity and a very low GH. So uh, sometimes it's alright just to put in uh, tap water. Uh, the only time that is done is really when my girlfriend wants to do a water change, when she has company coming over and she does not have time to get RO water. It's uh, not what I would recommend, obviously, but it does get some tap water. You can see the plants probably could use some iron. Um, I'm going to be bringing some by later today. Um, the Anubis down here I just trimmed. Uh, it probably wasn't getting that much light. We kind of had it as a jungle before I came today, so I don't know if the rhizome was getting enough light. You can see there was potential for there to be a lot of coverage. I probably removed about one third of the plant mass. You'll see in the top left, that's just a high door 50 watt heater. As far as lighting goes, this is on for 11 hours of the day. Uh, it's a pretty simple light. Um, there's nothing special to this whatsoever. Uh, this costs $10 on Amazon. If there was a red spectrum in here, that would be even better. Obviously we're relying solely on the red spectrum that is made from creating the color white, RBG, of course. Uh, some more red would help. I like the Phoenix Planted or the Phoenix Stingray. I mean, those cost twice as much as these, if not more. So this plant, this uh, this light really, as you can see, provided enough light for this size of a tank. It's seven gallon cube. Uh, the plant's seemingly doing just fine. It's just my girlfriend's house. Obviously, it could be better. But uh, the tank is doing well, I think. You'll see over there on the left with pre-filter, that's a just a Mignon small filter. What we have going on in there, I don't know if you can see, but in there there's just a bunch of rock, a couple bio balls, Seachem matrix, and I think there's a couple ceramic rings. We also do have just one carbon sponge in there. We replace those every three weeks. The carbon just helps to make the water clear. The, the substrate would be the Seachem fluorite black sand. It looks really nice in this tank. Um, I would prefer to use something like the ADA aqua soil or the fluval comparison. Aqua soil has a greater CEC for the ions of the root mass. So by having a better CEC or area for positively charged ions to go, you, uh, you basically have better root expansion. I won't get too into it. I'm not as well versed as other people are on YouTube. Anyway, the uh, Seachem fluoride 
black sand does have a good mix of elements in the water, or I'm sorry, in the substrate for the plant roots. However, it, it's not necessarily the best substrate, but it does look good and supply a good ratio of, of elements that the plants need in their substrate. You can see here, uh, that car is actually carpeting out pretty nicely. It's a pretty simple tank overall. I would like my girlfriend to dose XL a little bit more often. I would say it's probably getting XL between one to two times a week at best. Um, when I come, I do tend to pour a lot of it in and then do water change and then put more in. Uh, it's I usually do a water change on this every once or two weeks. Um, that's just really because I can. It's simple. It doesn't take too much work. I'm here. I might as well. But um, it's not. It's not too hard of a tank to change. I have gone a month without a water change. It's, this tank isn't hard to take care of. It. Uh, it's been going for about a year now, and uh, uh, I like it. Anyway. Any questions, uh, post in the comments below or uh, give me a, give me any suggestions. Thanks guys.